Hello, everyone. My name is Yi Xue. I'm from Professor Laura Waller's group in UC Berkeley. Today, I want to share my research about a multi-layer scattering model for fluorescence imaging through multiple scattering tissue with you. Optical microscopes have been widely used in biological research. For example, in optogenetics, light is focused to photostimulate opsins. When there is no tissue scattering, light can be focused into a very tight spot by an objective lens. However, when focusing through a tissue, light is scattered, and the focus is not as small as the case without scattering, but becomes a much larger spot. So the resolution of photostimulation is lower. Another example is fluorescence imaging. In this case, light source becomes the fluorescent molecules inside of the tissue. If there is no tissue scattering, fluorescence emitted from these molecules can be collected efficiently by the objective lens. However, when the fluorescent molecules are inside of a scattering tissue, fluorescent light is scattered and cannot be collected as efficient as the case without scattering. So, the signal-to-noise ratio of the fluorescent image is lower. To overcome the problem of tissue scattering, as the first step, we proposed a method to resolve the refractive index of the tissue. Knowing the refractive index of the 3D phantom will help both light focusing and fluorescent imaging. Here, we show the optical setup to reconstruct the refractive index of the 3D phantom. A collimated light illuminates a digital micro mirror device called a DMD. The DMD selectively excites fluorescent molecules in several predefined locations inside of the tissue. The fluorescent molecules become new incoherent light sources. Fluorescence emitted from these locations propagates through the scattering tissue and is collected by the camera. We treat the scattering tissue as a multi-layer model of multiple scattering. The fluorescence molecules are modeled as point sources. Fluorescence propagates to the first layer of the scattering tissue and light is scrambled and propagates to the next layer. The distance between layers is small enough to assume light follows Fresnel propagation. The tissue is modeled into many layers, and the final image is collected by the camera. Compared to the image without scattering, we can tell the pattern is distorted, which contains the important information about the unknown refractive index of the 3D phantom. To solve this unknown refractive index, we formulate this problem as an inverse problem. In this equation, I refers to the image recorded by the camera, which contains only intensity but not phase of the light field. H is the unknown 3D phantom to be reconstructed. GL is the position of each light source. Here, we have three light sources. L is from 1 to 3. We solve this inverse problem by FISTA algorithm. The result is showing on the right. The video goes through different Z planes of the 3D phantom. Compared to the ground truth on the left, our model can successfully reconstruct the refractive index of a 3D phantom from fluorescent images. Finally, I want to thank my advisor Laura Waller and also my colleagues in the lab for their help on this project.